Iris Knight Philly, the great, official Grey Witch. Um, and I have a moment to do a video, so I thought I'd do one. Um, got you all set up on my new fancy schmancy iPod, or iPod, tripod, there we go. Um, and I got a couple questions on a topic of coming out of the broom closet. People wanted like tips and stuff for coming out of the broom closet. Um, so I, I consider myself out of the broom closet. Um, I'm still rather selective about who knows my religion and who knows that I'm a Wiccan and that sort of thing. Um, obviously my parents know, my boyfriend knows, um, I'm sure some of the other family members know. Um, my coworkers know, but that took a while. Um, I have bumper stickers on my car, so like a lot of other people know. But um, even if they see that, like they don't exactly know exactly what I believe. You know what I mean? Like they don't know all the things that I do, what all goes into being a Wiccan and all that good stuff. So, um, I'm, I guess I'm selective about who I let into like the inner circle or the inner knowledge of what all I do. Um, I'm still kind of getting over a cold, so that's kind of why I sound a bit like a smoker. But, um, ugh, phlegm. But, um, when I first started out, I was very secretive. Like, it basically was all confined to this bookshelf in my room um and like I didn't want my mom to know I didn't really want my friends to know um and I spent that time basically just learning and reading and um just kind of studying and that sort of thing which is basically what I did for the first six months before I decided that this is what I wanted to do, this is what I agree with, this is what I believe, and um, that's when I did my initiation ritual. It was the first magically thing that I had done at that point, and um, that's when I basically started, officially started my path. Um, that was in 2010 and then a few months after that in like I think it was like August or something like that is when I started um, saving up money to get the materials to make my book of shadows um, so that thing was a work in progress and that took a good like I want to say two months of saving up babysitting money and going Hobby Lobby and slowly accumulating all the materials and making it bit by bit with the help of my friend Eowyn Hawthorne and um, that was quite a process. So uh, the first person who knew was my friends. Obviously Eowyn Hawthorne, my friend Taylor, um, a couple other of my friends knew. And we all kind of like were into that whole Celtic-y, magic -y dragons and whatnot thing anyway. So like it wasn't that big a deal to them. Um, and usually friends are more understanding anyway. But um, when I told my mom, I know that she was very reluctant to accept it. She's like, you're just going through a phase. Wicca isn't really a religion. Like you really shouldn't be reading that stuff because she's a rather hardcore Christian and she's like which she's kind of a hypocrite because she likes to read astrology and she kind of believes in astrology yet she's very very Christian and she doesn't like tarot and all this other stuff so like mom tarot is kind of like astrology like um, it's another form of divination like but after after her reaction I didn't talk to her about it at all um, I kept it to myself. I didn't share any of my beliefs. I didn't, um, preach, like, I didn't, well, I don't preach anyway, but I didn't, um, just share anything with her. And she went on 
being her preachy self, like, blah, God says this, and the Bible says that, and, mm-hmm, and, um, after a while, I got very tired of, um, not expressing my beliefs, um, like, I felt like I was denying myself, and I'm still going through this process of living openly, like, completely open, um, and fully embracing my path and living it day to day, and it's kind of hard to do that, especially when I have a stressful, I'm a server, and it's a very high pressure stress job, and I work, like, 40 to 50 hours a week, and I don't, I'm trying, and then this move and everything, so it's like it screwed up my whole daily schedule, like meditation and whatever, and, um, so I'm trying to, like, incorporate Wicca into every aspect of my life, and it's a process, um, but at the time, just by not expressing my beliefs, that was, in a way, denying who I am. And I didn't like that. Like, I had grown in my spirituality enough to know that I wanted to express my beliefs and this is who I am. So, I covertly expressed my beliefs in a third person sense. Like, we would be watching a show and mom would say something rather rude about, like, this culture or this culture's beliefs or that sort of thing. And, um... Or it would be, like, some religious show or something, and it would say something about, like, we'll, we'll just say divination. And I would say, well, some people believe this. And, like, some people believe that that. And, like, this is why they believe that sort of thing. And, like, this is their logic behind believing in that. And so it would be my beliefs, and I would be expressing that, you know, other people have these beliefs, too, but I wouldn't directly correlate myself with those beliefs, you know what I mean? But, like, I knew that these were my truths, and so I was still exposing my knowledge and my beliefs in a third-party sort of sense. That way I could express my point of view without riling an argument with my mom. Um, then there came a point where I got brave enough to wear a pentacle and um it was the first time I wore a pentacle and it had been like I want to say a year since I started reading and studying about Wicca and um I felt like I could you know I, I felt comfortable enough that if anyone should have you know a few questions I could answer it and um my mom was outside talking with my neighbor who is also very very Christian and also my neighbor's friend who they both went to the same church and stuff and um mom was talking to my neighbor and my neighbor's friend and I came up to join the group because mom and I were supposed to go somewhere so I was waiting for her to be done and um my neighbor's friend pointed to my pentacle and said that that's the devil's symbol and I started shaking and I kind of panicked a little bit but I told him, no, that's not what this means. This is actually a symbol of the five elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and spirit interlocking as they are interconnected. And that was the end of it. And, like, he just kind of shut up. And um, my neighbor kind of, like, looked at me like, so, uh, like, do you believe in that? Like, is that what you believe in? And I said, yes. And he wanted to have a talk with me. He's like, we need, we need, we should talk about this. I'm, we, I want to have a discussion with you. And this is where you need to listen to your instincts. And something told me that he was not going to listen to anything that I said. 